It's undeniable that Superstorm Sandy was one for the record books. The personal loss was extraordinary, at a cost exceeding $50 billion. The waves have just been relentless. But what preceded Sandy has been the subject of much debate. Did the National Hurricane Center adequately warn the public before it hit? Now new hurricane warnings and tropical storm definitions are being refined, broadening the language and driving home its preparedness message. If it wasn't for Sandy, this new rule would really be in the fine print because it really rarely comes up. But Sandy showed that when you have a hurricane moving north that turns into a nor'easter just before it comes ashore, that kind of confounds the rules and we didn't get a hurricane warning that we thought would have been valuable. So the new rule will allow the hurricane center to keep those hurricane warnings up even if the system transfers into a different kind of storm like a nor'easter. The new wording to hurricane and tropical storm watches and warnings will now include post-tropical systems. Translation, it gives the hurricane center permission to issue advisories even if it's not classified as a hurricane. The agency did not issue hurricane advisories for Sandy beyond North Carolina, and that was due to the changing nature of the storm. In some cases, a post-tropical storm can bring very heavy rainfall, significant storm surge, and numerous tornadoes well inland. The Hurricane Center believes the policy changes will prevent any confusion in the future. I'm Mike Bettis, The Weather Channel.